Hi, welcome back, artist Sam Tateshi here for another tutorial, and today I'm gonna to tell you how to do multiple MIDI output in Cubase. So it's kind of complicated, but let's break it down. Well, MIDI generators often use multiple MIDI outputs. So today I have this MIDI generator named Insta Composer here, but you can follow out on this tutorial with whatever MIDI generator. Now, I loaded four instruments here, piano, and guitar, and synth, bass, and pad, like this. So what I'm gonna do is route this MIDI generator's output to drive these four instruments simultaneously. The first thing you have to do is set the MIDI output channels of the generator. This process depends on the plugin, but for example, in the Composer, you just choose this channel 1, channel 2 to uh, ostinato. And channel 3 is gonna be bass, and channel 4 is gonna be pad like this. So next thing is, of course, routing. Choose the first one, and open the inspector, and look at this, all MIDI in change this all MIDI inputs to MIDI generator output. You can, I think you can do this with at once with well, pressing shift and alt at the same time and boom okay it worked the next thing you have to do is again go to inspector and click here and choose local and pop up well pop up and <laughs> to channel filtering and pass ch01 and don't forget to switch it on okay this module is gonna, well, receive channel 1 data, only the channel 1. And as you see, you can do, you have to do the same things like this. And since base is gonna, well, receive channel 3, so pass CS3 and switch it on. Like this, okay. Channel 4. Boom. Now, you have to, well, monitor these four. Okay, and now. <laughs> I don't like this song, but yeah. Basically, this is the thing you can do with my multiple MIDI output in Cubase. I hope this tutorial will help you and please hit like to spread this video to the world and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.